Five reasons why people hate you. I'm sure we've all heard the saying, the best way to succeed in life is by working like crazy. Not only is that statement false, it is also a way of thinking that could potentially lead to stress, exhaustion, depression, and possibly death. Most teens and adults nowadays appear underpaid, stressed out, and exhausted by the demands of their jobs. Not only do most have to work long hours, they sometimes have to skip lunches and at times tend to take work issues home, thus creating an unhealthy lifestyle. While getting a job these days is difficult, getting up the ranks within a company with the expectation of receiving a bigger pay is even harder. As we're all taught, um, the way to getting ahead in the workplace is by going the extra mile, even though we aren't always sure that our effort will be recognized. Whether it be due to unpaid debts, past bills, or inflation, at some point, we'll all experience financial stress. The false beliefs, which are working tenaciously, tenaciously sorry, and perhaps pulling all-nighters, are adopted in the hopes of bringing in more revenues to fully cover all expenses. Furthermore, the need to flex and flaunt luxurious accessories and vehicles also contribute greatly to overspending and accumulating bad debt. If your job starts to take over your life, you need to stop and take time to reconsider what your decisions and plans are. Constantly being in work mode isn't just unhealthy, it is also very destructive. Not only does it weaken your body, it also negatively affects your relationships. Furthermore, it won't truly make you happy, but will give you a false sense of fulfillment. Moreover, it might drive you to insanity or at the very least lead you to a burnout. Dear future entrepreneurs and moguls, here are five reasons why people might hate you. Number one, they are envious of your success. Jealousy rises when your own deeper yearnings aren't being met and you become envious of what another person has, how they are, or what they do. People's envy and jealousy are clues to what it is they truly want, and what they're yearning for. If people around you show signs of envy or jealousy towards your success, you should ignore your opinion and keep your conversation short. Never poison your mind with what they think about you know how they feel about you. Furthermore, try to stay away from them as much as possible while concentrating on your work and the vision you have of your future. Moreover, you should always try to be more optimistic and do your best to surround yourself with like-minded individuals. Number two, your success reminds them they have an unfulfilled or they have unfulfilled dreams. When you rise above and do amazing things, people tell themselves a story to justify mediocrity and your shortcomings. This also means trying to steal the thunder away from your success. They might support you at first, 
when when you sur surpass them or in or in, in or do better than them, they turn green with envy and see you as a threat in competition. Their envy has nothing to do with you and more with the hurt they feel inside. You took responsibility and made your own destiny. Your success means they don't have any excuses for their failures. You evolved and removed negativity from your life. Mediocrity hates excellence. Misery loves company. Number three, they think your success is a result of luck. Yes, people succeed in life merely because of luck. However, the type of luck that unsuccessful people po um, project or project onto successful people is the courage to believe in their dreams when nobody else does. Furthermore, the willingness to do what is required to make things happen. Moreover, the resilience and tenacity to keep going no matter the obstacle. Additionally, lucky are those who understand the fact that nobody owes them anything and they have to earn everything they need themselves through blood, sweat and tears. If success is measured by wealth, then the most successful people are almost certainly those with moderate talent and remarkable luck. However, at some point, good luck requires hard work if success is to be sustained. Number 4. They misunderstand you. What most people don't understand is that the majority of successful people subscribe to the doctrine of the things we collectively strive to achieve, be it um, happiness, success, fortune, fame, and etc. Must first find expression in the mind before actualizing in uh, what we know as the physical reality. Success is not only about the money you make or how well you do in your field of work. It is just as much about enjoying what you do. What is the point of doing well in something um, if you don't get any satisfaction from it? To live a truly successful life, you not only have to give your all, but you also have to enjoy yourself while doing it. Number five, they compare themselves to you. The most successful people don't compare themselves to others. Instead, they see excellence and talent in, uh, in others as learning opportunities, not competition. It's the difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. Successful people take a chance and ask for what they want. Unsuccessful people are afraid of failure. Unsuccessful people tend to remain unhappy and unsuccessful because they spend too much time enviously um, focusing on the accomplishments of others. They refuse to take responsibility for their own lack of achievement and jealousy and uh, obsess about those who actually put the work in, take smart risks and hit their goals. In conclusion, everyone wants to be successful, whether it be in their profession or just in life in general. The saying, the best way to succeed in life is by working like crazy is false, as being successful doesn't equate to you having to kill yourself. You should instead manage your time wisely, be consistent and work strategically on your purpose and towards reaching your goals. Furthermore, you shouldn't care about what others think of you, nor what they have to say about you. 
other people project their issues on you because they are not as aware about who they are and where they have been. If you worry about what others think, you are wasting time because they could be criticizing you for something they regret. Contrary to popular belief, people can't make you feel a certain way about yourself. The end. Thank you.